head to grad school in collaborative, and I've got my friend Preston on here. Hey, Preston. Hey, how are you doing, Brad? Doing well. I'm here in my home office and apartment. My wife is up north, up uh, going to New York for a conference she's speaking at, and I got the whole room so I can blab out loud now. <laughs> so, Except the neighbors next door. Yeah. What is this crazy man doing in this house? There's actually not many neighbors here anymore. It's kind of weird. They're all moving out, probably because I'm too loud. <laughs> but the topic is starting your own ad agency. And I think um, it's cool because I think a lot of uh, things that were businesses are shifting into normal consumers. Like I'd mentioned before, the square has now turned consumers into merchants. And the mm -hmm. little square slide your credit card. Mm -hmm. And now um, we've got um, people that um, in the broadcasting world, they don't need a studio anymore. They just need a cell phone to be able to broadcast. Yep. And it's becoming evident too now with, um, with ad agencies. Like we talked before, I think some of the larger ad agencies, they don't really know what's going on. And someone used the word ignorant, not mm -hmm. as an insult, but in my opinion, ignorant means you're ignoring. They're sort of ignoring of what's going on and the opportunities that, social media is providing people to advertise and market a product service or cause yeah so um uh, as an example there's companies that i work with that uh, they provide all the fulfillment so you don't need to know how to put a tracking pixel down on google or facebook or linkedin or all these kind of things or conversion pixels you don't need to know all that stuff those things can be outsourced to another company that provides the fulfillment for the retargeting and the remarketing and the run a network and the, the, uh, the ad networks and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You basically just have to find the people. You're almost like a, a glorified bird dog that paid, gets paid on commission. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that though. It's fascinating. It's like, um, you know, you represent those webcams. You're basically a, a video marketing agency for the niche that you're in, the travel and the tourism. So if a, uh, say there was a resort that uh, wanted to show off their property because it's so beautiful with the blue waves crashing down, they could use a camera, focus mm -hmm. in on it. You're getting millions of viewers to see that. There's the opportunity to advertise. So they got their bar restaurant they can advertise on the side of it. Exactly. And then if they wanted, they could go to the... Uh, the local convention and visitors association and say, would you like to have the banner? Mm -hmm. And the convention bureau could say, gee, I don't know if we could really afford that. Maybe we could find one of our members, like uh, maybe there's a tour company or something. Mm -hmm. They'd pay for it and it would be like a co-sponsored banner. Now the whole thing is paid for. Everybody's really happy and they're getting millions of visitors of interested parties. And you, Preston, as a, a virtual ad agency, pulled it all together just by being innovative. Yep, exactly. And, you know, the cool thing is, is that that's that's really what it takes is somebody that thinks a little bit. I hate using that cliche, but out of the box, somebody who takes a concept and say, OK, what can I do with this that's going to give me bottom line results? And the fact is, is that, you know, the camera just to let you know, too, is that it's not just putting an ad there. It's actually, you know, the host of the camera actually gets their logo, but it can go directly to their website. So it's clickable. So the clickable cool thing is and trackable and trackable. Exactly. So every single time that somebody clicks on it, it's trackable and it, it gives you live real stats as the day goes on. So you can see what browser they're using, where they're coming from, how many times they come there. You know, are they re, are, are they new visitors? Are they have they been there like 10 times in the last week? And then the cool thing is, is that you have comments. So once somebody registers, then they can actually create comments and then you can see the flow of going, wow, this guy was here three months ago and now he's actually there live because he saw these cameras. So there's an ideal situation. Now that's specific to your situation with the video cameras and video marketing and things, but right. going back onto the general topic of uh, starting your own ad agency. Right. Sorry. Um, people, no, that's okay. I mean, that's what this is about. You've, you've of kind it. of started your own ad agency because you've got a turnkey system for someone to just jump into it. There's a, yep. a company that could just jump into it and you could fulfill it. That's what an ad agency does. They have a lot of creatives that work together. And, uh, you know, with this collaborative that we're putting together, we've got all these creative people. You can just pull from that. Like um, the guy we just met, Mike. Mm -hmm. Brilliant as far as what he's doing is taking the social media and engaging people on a human level 
and then pulling them off into a, a real actual interaction. Yeah. Um, but the, all those things are there for the uh, out of the box thinker. I like yeah. to say thinking without a box. <laughs> there you go. There are no boundaries. You can, you can literally find people like, like what we're doing now, and I'm tooting our horn again, is the roving reporters to have right. people that are, um, you know, good on the camera. They can be the, uh, the travel person to go out and they can report on location for mm -hmm. the travel industry. Same thing could happen. We just got done talking with a guy that has the Clydesdales coming into town and he's just getting started on this blab thing. But the idea of having someone being on location with the Clydesdales talking about the horses, is it hard to take care of them? And uh, what are all the things with it? You can start doing some Budweiser product placement inside the, the scopes mm -hmm. and things and the, the, the meerkats and the blabs and all these things. And if you can come up with this really cool idea, you can take it to a big brand like, Budweiser, Anheuser-Busch, or, or um, Coca-Cola, or Applebee's, or TGI Fridays, and you can show these big brand people this, and maybe they'll look at this video and they'll steal our idea and not compensate us. But if they had any heart, what they would do is they would send money to our PayPal accounts. Preston, what's your PayPal account? <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, you, you know, the thing is, is that it, it's all it's all about you know, what do the brands want? Because brands are very particular and, and a lot of brands right now are looking at social media as a way to obviously bring in more people to their brand. And so what they do is they work with brand advocates. They basically pay people to basically talk about their business. And, and I don't know how exactly that works. I'm still trying to find that out because that's kind of an interesting concept in itself. And it kind of reminds me of that movie. I can't remember the name of it. But it was a movie about the this family that was fake, but they moved into this beautiful location in the neighborhood that was, you know, well to do. And all of these brands would send them all these products. And of course, as they're going out about their day, they're using their golf clubs, they're using their brand new Maserati car. Doing they're using product placement products. stuff? They're, they're doing power placement just through life. And the interesting thing is, is obviously as time went on, it was just too much and it was just not real because it's like, God, you know, we're getting paid a lot of money, but it's not about the person who's buying the brand. It's about us trying to reach our goals and, you know, reach numbers. But that's what brands think of. They got to reach the numbers. They got to get out there. Well, but you they know, also have to interact. Uh, hey, William Rock. He's here. It doesn't necessarily have to be big brands either. I mean, Grand, we're talking about the Coca Colas and the Nikes and all that, but it doesn't necessarily, if people got the money to pay for the views, um, a savvy uh, ad agency, a little micro agency, can pull it together and the brands can make it happen and they can focus on their other stuff. And let, I mean, there's some brilliant people out here in this social media world that know how to do this stuff. And just by pulling a couple of the collaborative type strings together, you can get, create a real synergistic opportunity for people to actually get views and get results and make things happen. Hey, Brad, can I invite William Rock in here? He's a good friend of mine. We've talked on Google Plus many If you mind his manners, we're not going to go too much longer, but uh, absolutely, if you want. Come on, William. Come on in. Feel free. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll click okay? the button. He's okay. He's uh, he's he he does this for clients. I mean, he actually manages their. Uh, well, he actually works with a lot of brands. Perfect. He manages yeah, after all their advertising done. stuff. After this is done, we'll go off the record. Maybe he can come on and. Yeah, maybe you want to do that later. I don't know. Who knows? At any rate, but um, that's what I think. Uh, what brought this to mind is uh, the company that I'm working with. Uh, they do all the stuff for you. They put together their proposals and the, they'll, when, when the proposal is done and the client says, yes, I want to play this game, all they have to do is start paying the money and the fulfillment is done. They yeah. take care of the retargeting and all that. Here we got William Rock. Yeah. You come in? All right. What's going on, guys? Hey, hey, Rock, name? William. Is that your real last name? That is, sir. Yes. I like that. Cool. It's been uh, a while, man. <laughs> It's been, been a while. Uh, you know, I'm playing around with this new, you know, blab, and I'm just really enjoying that whole conversation that I haven't had on, you know, I'm, as you know, I'm kind of always on the, the Google Plus side yeah. and more of the LinkedIn side, but not really necessarily the Twitter or Facebook or Pinterest. Yeah. And well, really, I'm experimenting, I've had these accounts since I, you know, they, they established their companies, but a uh, long time to be here. 
William, we're still recording this. So if you want to give us a little uh, wisdom and then I'll close this off if you want. And then, uh, well, you know, I got the invite and I basically had to come in. So my thing is I'm a conversion analytics specialist. I've been here doing this stuff uh, since 1998, since Google established their domain. And I've been uh, teaching companies how to convert ever since. Which is key. It's uh, you. You got a lot of work ahead of you because there's a lot of people that haven't got a clue of converting, and they're just doing blabbing. I mean, not blabbing, but they're they're just twittering and doing stuff. Well, when, when mean. you're able to actually show examples, for example, what uh, uh, Preston knows me for more on the lines of doing a panda Google Panda algorithm update uh, dissection, and and what I try to do is study the algorithms. I've I've done it ever since, but you know, knowing the industry is part of the key to being successful online. Uh, it doesn't matter what business you're doing. It's just a matter of understanding the entire uh, scope of the project and knowing, knowing where you're losing uh, traffic as well. Losing traffic. Um, rather than record that part of it, I'm going to close this thing off and I'd like to talk further on that exact same topic. So, <laughs> so I appreciate you all taking your time and that's the concept of uh, starting your own ad agency. A lot of people are doing this. And uh, it is possible, and it's thinking with outside the bo without the box. So, Preston, again, thanks for. Uh, I mean, you're the one that told me to do this kind of thing, so that's, that's <laughs> appreciate you putting the idea in my head. And William, we'll talk to you soon. So, peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. Thank you. <laughs>